this tutorial is going to go over a, a Unit 2 Assignment B using Windows 7. So you are going to, number two, create a folder in your hard drive. So you're going to come down to the bottom left, um, the Windows icon, and you're going to go to, you can either go to Computer or Documents. If you go to Computer, you can go there to Documents. Uh, first, I just want to show you, if you open up your computer, it's just going to show you the drives or the storage areas on your computer. Um, so the C is your hard drive. Um, so that is where we're going to save your assignments. So we have a DVD drive and uh, we will show you your flash drive later. Okay, so we want to go to Documents and it's asking you to create a folder. So to create a folder, you want to go to New Folder. I want you to call it CIS. And then you are done with number two. Number three says to open up a Word document. So again, you want to go to your bottom left um, icon and open up Microsoft Word. And you are to write one sentence about this class. Number five, you're going to save that file, save as, and they wanted to, you to put it in your new folder. So you want to make sure you're in your documents library, and then your new folder should show up. And they want you to name it your initials, my initials are KS, CIS. You're not going to add the .docx because that's an extension and Word will automatically do that for you. You hit save and it's saved. So number six wants you now to look at your folder within your computer. So we'll just go ahead and X out of Word. And then if this isn't up, again, all you have to do is come down to the uh, Windows icon bottom left and just go to Computer Documents. You want to look at your new folder, and your assignment should be in there. So number seven, it wants you to rename this file, and you simply do that by right-clicking on it. And you go down to Rename, and you can call it, they want you to call it uh, your initials, CIS2. And then you just click somewhere off of it, and it has now saved by uh, to CIS2. Number eight, we're going to make a copy of this file. Again, same thing, you just want to right click on it and hit copy. Click copy, left click copy, and just somewhere inside your documents library, just right click and left click paste. And the KSCIS2 copy is there. You're going to rename that again by just right clicking and it wants you to name it KISCIS3. So that was number 9. I want you now to open this file for number 10. And it wants you to say one thing you like about this class. Then you are going to save that, and you're going to exit out of here. So you are now on number 11. It wants you just to look at the properties. So to look at properties, you just want to right click and hit properties. And this will give you all sorts of information about when um, your documents are created and modified and accessed. Um, sometimes if you forget, um, you know, when you last updated something, you can make it a read-only. So again, this is where you would uh, work with the property. You can hit OK to that. Now I'm going to plug in my flash drive for number 12. When you plug it in, it'll pop up to say your computer will tell you that you uh, that it now sees another 
item being plugged in your system. It is my G drive on my system. So I am going to put both of these files in your flash drive. Now, the, a neat way to do this is bottom left again, click on your start button and go to computer and it's going to show you every, again, all your drives and you can just double click on your G drive and here are all my items on my G drive. Now, in order to bring these in, I can literally left click it and drag it in. See how I'm doing that? Now, you could put it in one of these folders. So, it says copy to CIS and I'm going to say, yep, fine. And also, it's going to, I'm going to bring down the other one. Copy to CIS is fine. So now my files are going to be within here. I have a lot of files on my flash drive, I'm sure you guys do as well. But there they are, right there. So again, you can play with um, opening up different windows, which is neat. Okay, now we are going to exit out of these, and we're going to open up our email and we are going to, we are now on 13. We're going to create an email and you just create it to yourself. Sorry, I think I am very impatient. Okay. So create it to yourself and you are going to attach both your files. How you attach is just coming up here to hit attach file and then you can either go to your flash drive or to your hard drive or your C drive and usually your system remembers the last files you were working with so I'm just going to click on the first, if it doesn't you just come right up here um, to your documents here or you can go to your flash drive but I wanted to show you um, when if sometimes people forget where items are located, you can just use this drop down and it'll show you the path where you saved this um, item. So it's on my C drive under documents under CIS folder. So I'm going to click on the first document and hit open and attach that. And I'm also going to click on my second document. So now I have done. 15. Now it also wants you to copy and paste the contents of CIS too. So you can literally click it from here and it will open up. And then from there you can just highlight the contents. And then you can just paste them in your mail. So I'm just going to highlight that. Hit Control C. Bring it back down to my email. Control V to paste it. I'll give it a subject. And it's number 17. It just says to send the mail with high importance. And right here, the exclamation point does that. Click Send. And to finish the assignment, you go back to Blackboard and you turn in the two documents and you also note in the attach or in the um, link if you received the email. Okay, good luck.